Here we are on board a Cobalt R series boat. This is the non-surf series boat, and this is the Garmin glass cockpit display. So in the current view right now, we have our navigation map on the left screen, and we have our engine uh, display on the right hand screen. Each screen at the bottom looks very similar. You have a mark button, an info button, a home button, SOS, toolbars, and options. This allows you to cycle through different information and also view specific options for the screen or mode that you're currently in. For example, the mark button on either screen will mark your current position if you have a navigation chart up. Info will bring up different information to be displayed, such as you want to see your waypoint chart, different tracks, routes and auto guidance settings, and things like that. The SOS button allows you to contact emergency services if you're not within cell signal or radio signal of anybody. Toolbars brings up just that, it's just a toolbar. So if you have your uh, stereo on, you could actually control the stereo from the Garmin screen if you wish. And then your options button. Depending upon what screen you're in, for example, we just pressed it on the navigation chart. It'll allow me to change the chart menu and also edit the layout if I wish. When I press the home button, this brings up my presets. I can go into cruising preset, anchoring preset, or a nav chart preset. The default view in which the majority of the customers like to view the screens is actually the cruising mode, which has the navigation chart again on the left screen and then your engine display on the right hand side. The engine display has great information such as your unit voltage or your house battery voltage, engine hours, engine RPM, your fuel level, GPS speed, fuel level in the bottom right there, oil pressure, engine temperature, and then your engine battery voltage as well. There are a couple different views cycling with your tabs left to right. The first view right here is kind of the default view in which you'll see. You can also cycle through the different views quickly instead of hitting the home screen you could actually go left to right right here just cycling through different modes. One thing to keep in mind, if you are on the home screen on the right hand side, which has a display of the cobalt boat right here, if you go back to the home screen on the left screen and hit smart mode, it's not gonna take you immediately back to your engine display on the right hand screen because it thinks you've selected the home screen and you want to stay here. So just kind of keep that in mind. So if you wanted to actually get back to your normal mode, you actually have to be in a specific screen view on the right hand screen. And then you can go back into the home on the left screen, hit cruising, and then I'll bring back up your inf engine information on the right hand screen.